Gundam program. What is up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Welcome if you are brand, brand new and this is your first time watching. Today is Friday, June. 9th. It is 7.30 in the morning. I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment. Um, if you guys have been watching, I've been dealing with some health issues. The good news is all my results came back good, negative, if you will. Um, but the bad news is that means we still haven't found out what's going on, what's making me feel shitty, and we still haven't dealt with my arthritis issues and my hands are still swollen so fun times you guys Nat let's go to the doctor let's hope they can help me okay okay so I just finished up at the doctor she gave me some prescription anti-inflammatories to deal with this arthritis and so I can lift weights while I wait for my specialist so fingers crossed that does the trick now I'm off to get my phone fixed because it's not working and we need that. And I have a photo shoot today, so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do my makeup. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get a coffee. I haven't had a coffee yet. It's time for coffee. Oh, that's a nice bum. Okay guys, so I'm home. I got my phone as you can see. I spent a good like $1,400 at the Mac store because I couldn't get a new a new contract or something. Anyways, I needed a new phone. So we got a new phone. So I'm gonna do my makeup for my shoot now. I'm gonna chat you guys through it. This is just like a chill fitness gym shoot we're doing. Um, so it's not gonna be anything like too crazy, but I still want a decent amount of face makeup. So the face makeup is gonna be key. That's my favorite part anyways. Um, I don't have anything on my face as you can tell and I barely have eyelashes because what else is new? I ripped out my eyelashes. Remember that time when I said I wasn't gonna get my lash extensions again? And then I got them again. And then I ripped them out again. So yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what happened. Um, I have a lip plumping lip gloss on right now. It works amazing not only to give like a little plump before I put um, the color on but it also helps like exfoliate and take everything else off so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do like a coat of the fresh sugar lips scrub that off and then I'll be ready for my lipstick so I'm just gonna yeah go ahead and fix this and of course I have some breakouts because it is my lady time lady time. So I'm going to start with face. The eyes aren't going to be super dark, so I don't need to do like, you know, eyes first because they so dark that they're going to dust black everywhere. We don't need to do that. So I'm going to start with the face and I'm using the Laura Mercier um, foundation primer. There's like, it's, it's called radiance. There's like a little sheen to it. I don't know if you can like see that, but oh, it's so good. It's so good. That JLo glow. I'm always going for that JLo glow. You know, that woman, timeless. She got that glow. Who doesn't want that glow? And yeah, I just picked a pimple there as well. So that's, I'm just looking extra, extra cute today, guys. For foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is basically just like my go to now. It's my favorite. I feel like the coverage is good. It doesn't look like too cakey, too foundation, if you will. 
Ain't nobody like a cake face. So my photo shoot today is with Arzu. We basically do like a, a monthly marketing type of shoot. And on Wednesday, I had my shoot with AJK. It was phenomenal. It went so good. It was so fun. But we shot for like seven hours. Seven hours. All day. In fact, we got a pizza in between our shoots. So that's, that's how long it went. So I am feeling it all places of my body yesterday and today. I went for a 90 minute massage yesterday actually. I skipped the gym altogether and just went for a long ass massage and sadly I am still feeling it in in my back. So let's hope that uh you know let's hope today goes well. So right now as you can see I am trying to brighten up this tired ass face. I don't know how many of you guys have like this olive skin problem, but when you have olive skin, you have like super dark circles around your eyes. I don't get bags, but I get like hella dark circles. So this guy is actually like steal of, steal of a deal. It's a drugstore find. It's a NYX um, HG Studio concealer. And then I just buy it in literally the lightest shade possible. It's CW01. Um, and just works like a charm. Brightens up my eyes. Um, this is just water in a spray bottle. So I don't have to go to the sink and wet this every time. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend underneath my eyes. Dab that shit. Does that ever get old? That dab, dab, dab? I don't think so. I don't think that, it, I don't think that ever gets old. So... I'm gonna dab that out and then I'm going to go ahead and set it with my new favorite setting powder. So this is Laura Mercy again. Maybe she's my new fave, you guys. It's the loose setting powder in translucent. And the good thing about this powder, it's like, I don't know if you can see the color, but this one is not like I, I told you guys about that um Makeup Forever HD one. That one is like ultra white. So I'm finding that when you use a camera with a flash, you're getting that like white, white underneath the eye, the flashback, the glare, and it just, it's embarrassing. Nobody wants that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this underneath my eyes using a dry beauty blender that I use just for this, nothing else other than that one time that Steve did my makeup and used all the wrong brushes and tools, but I cleaned after that, don't worry, I cleaned, I cleaned. So I'm super excited for this shoot because every time Arzu and I do shoots, it's just like chill, fun, we get some great photos, and we are actually shooting at our friend's new gym today, which is super cool. I checked it out. A um, couple of weeks ago, but it was like there was nothing in there yet. It was still pure construction. So now it's like ready to shoot in, which is gonna be super cool. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes while this is setting. And this is MAC Paint Pot, I think. Yeah, it's the Paint Pot. Let's dust this shit off, shall we? Dust it off. And like, I just started using, I think, setting powder or baking. I just started baking, if you want to call it that, this year. And it has changed my life because before I would do all this shit and then I'd be like, yeah, it's light underneath my eyes. And then I would finish my makeup and then it would be dark again. So this stuff, it works like a charm and I look awake. Okay, so for eyes, I'm gonna use, I might add a little bit shimmer it's just so hard for me not to do like a glow like a gold glow but i'm gonna use the kat von d shade um and light eye palette this is like a super neutral good for any skin color i'll show you guys there's like three different three different types that you can work with so depending on what mood you're in if you will I'm just gonna go ahead and set my eye with this color right here. And then we're gonna go and probably use these two in the crease, just warm it up a little. And who knows, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and throw some gold in there, but, but we will see. 
we'll see how that looks like. I don't want to get too extra, if you will. So these next two weeks are going to be a complete shit show. And yes, that's my other phone, my work phone going off in the background right now, but we're just gonna pretend that's not happening. We're just gonna go ahead and continue to do our makeup in peace. But we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of a shit show. Um Marcus and I are leaving for where are we going? For Cabo. We're going for Cabo in like two weeks yesterday. So, you know, the time is kind of sneaking up on me and I have a million things to do and I still have to do, and I know that looks ridiculous, don't worry, we're, we're gonna blend that up. Um, I still have to do the summer, summer challenge programs. I'm doing all of the client programs on one day before I leave, so that's gonna be like 12 hours of fun. Um, and then Marcus's birthday is next Friday. I have that secret little project I'm working on, which will be out like super, super soon. And we can, we can talk about that. Um, that's, we're filming for that on Monday and Tuesday. And then, yeah, I have my day vlog sh shoot on Sunday. We're going to go to Lake Louise and I have a couple of clients going with me. So it's actually going to be a super fun day. Um, and yeah, there's just, there's lots of like work in between these next two weeks. Basically I say like, I have about a month's worth of work to do in uh, less than two weeks, so should be interesting. I'm going to take a bigger brush now and go in with this color and just blend this out, make it look a little bit more natural. It is a fitness shoot, I'm not trying to go glam, if you will. Okay, so we're going to go in with a little bit more of a packed brush. I'm gonna try this one first. This is the Naked um, Palette by Urban Decay, the second one. I actually just went back to these. I did my own makeup for the AJK shoot on Wednesday and I used the other one with like all the rose golds and it was so perfect for like that beachy summer look. So I'm gonna try this one now. This is the Half Baked. We're gonna try that one and see. The first time I used these, I felt like the color didn't really like stick but maybe I just didn't really know how to do my makeup then I'm not really sure because this is this is definitely sticking another one definitely did so so we're just gonna do that and work it up to the crease so I don't want like super dark below the crease for this I want my eyes to look open and since I look so damn tired all the help I can get is really useful but then that way all the shading we did still stays underneath and gives the eye some dimension and some shape so i'm going to go in with this color tease and i'm going to work my way back up into that crease give a little bit more shape and then we're going to do the good old liner and i realize i'm like really bad at this whole talking and doing makeup this is why I like yell at Marcus anytime he comes in when I'm doing my makeup because I just can't like, I can't focus on the both. I can't. Okay, so I have my eyeliner on. I really didn't want to do that on camera because I'm struggling with that right now. So it takes a minute, but it looks pretty even. I don't love it. I don't hate it. So we gonna go with it. The thing is with fake eyelashes, they're gonna hide that. They gonna hide that. So I'm gonna show you guys the lashes. I do have a little bit of mascara on. Um, I usually put just a little bit of mascara before I do false lashes just cause I feel like it ties it all in together. So these lashes, one of my clients actually designed them and this is her company. Now she has her own lash line and I'm super excited. And these are the Tasty Glam. So I have my a very own, um, very own pair and I already use these I've been using them a lot so I use them but they're very like you guys can see they're like super like fluffy soft perfect just just that type of look that I like and for the glue I'm using um, the duo glue I don't know why this is still like just my favorite go-to my go-to glue. And I know a lot of people struggle putting on fake lashes and they say it's super hard. And believe me, I also thought that when I first started doing it, trick is 
you gotta get the glue so it's tacky so it's just about ready and then you use a pair of tweezers and you're gonna put them in the middle of the eye and then you're gonna adjust the corners and that usually only takes one try but because we're on camera let's face it this is gonna take me ten tries because you know Murphy's Law right okay so they're both on and it was actually super easy I just had to stop the camera because I was getting so close to the mirror it was literally just like my mouth on film so yeah that's why okay so why th while those are drying and going from white to clear I'm gonna go and actually like contour my face so I'm gonna use the Tartiest contour palette and I love this palette um, mostly because it smells like chocolate but it also works quite well so those both things both of those things are very uh helpful to me and if you guys can't tell I'm like super tired today I don't even know what I'm saying half the time so for the light I'm gonna go ahead and mix the two light colors together more of the light less of less of the yellow pigment and just pat that underneath my eyes pretty much everywhere where we put that um, HD stick we're gonna put this just pat that shit on and honestly when it comes to photo shoots I don't want to say the more the better because I feel like that's not the right way to describe it, but you're going to need a thick, a thick coat of makeup. Let's just put it that way. Let's put it that way. It shows everything. Those cameras show absolutely everything. So once I'm done with the light, I'm going to go ahead and mix the two dark colors using the exact same brush I've told you guys about this brush before it's that dual one from makeup forever and it's just so handy it's actually completely falling apart I'm gonna have to get Marcus to glue it together for me but it's super handy because you can use it for so many things like if you want just one contour kind of blush bronzer type of brush get this it's so 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 versatile next palette Oh, I haven't showed you guys this one. This one is the one that I got when I was in Phoenix. It's so great. Love it. It is called the Cheek Parade. It's Benefit. Yeah, Benefit makes it. And look at those colors. Like, come on. Yes. Summer. Pretty. Bronze. So cute. And also, this smells bomb. I don't know what it is with, like, makeup companies adding scents to their makeup, but I'm not complaining. I'm not opposed, I'm down with this shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the fluffier side of that dual brush, and I'm gonna do the darker shade, the hula, of the bronzer, and I do have like the smaller version of this. I'm a very like novelty person. I saw this, it looked pretty, I got it. That's just how you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it where I put my contour and just to even everything out, then I'm gonna go ahead and put it around the whole face, just a little bit lighter though. And then you can just go ahead and use the same brush. Again, this is the benefit of it. And I'm gonna mix the two, the dandelion and the California, because the California has like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like that sheen in there. Oh yeah, I'm all about that. Remember those days when we used to try, our, try to hide our shiny? Now we're all about the shiny. Everybody wanna be shiny. All right, and then to tie in the eyes, I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with that light brown color first. See how that takes and work my way out. This just really like ties the whole look together. And you can go a little bit darker. I might go just the one shade up just to give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more depth, but I don't like to go too light or too light, I don't like to go too dark on the bottom, especially not for fitness shoots. So just like, just like a little dabble, a little dabble. Throw in a little bit of that warm, like, I don't even know what that color is called. Like a burgundy, not even, burnt orange, burnt red. Now I'm just rambling. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I am gonna put like a tiny bit in these ones. You're not supposed to, just an FYI. That's like how you preserve your fake lashes is you don't put mascara on them. So I am a bad girl, but wow, this is such a creepy angle. 
like I'm obviously not a professional makeup artist and I have no idea how those like makeup YouTubers must be like different cameras, different angles, something. I don't know how they look so good doing this shit because then I watch these videos back and I'm like, you look real creepy and there's like a view up your nose and it's like just your mouth and you're not even filming what you need. So yeah, on that note. I don't know how they do that shit, so please don't critique this video based on how I'm filming the makeup because I just do this because you guys ask for it and it's fun and I ain't a pro of this, okay? And for brows, I do have my brows microbladed. They're quite fresh still, um, but I guess because it is skin, now I have some makeup on it and this brow like literally doesn't grow hair. So you can see it's like hair in the middle and then just microblade over top where this one has hair so we're gonna go in a little bit um this is the anastasia brow definer in medium brown and it's the like thicker the thicker pencil i'm just gonna like barely barely do my brow because when i got my brows microbladed i got this gel that's like a colored gel that is made for this okay so those are pretty even I think and then this this is from the clinic where I got my brows done so cinnamon girl clinic I think I told you guys in the last video Brittany did my eyebrows love them love that I have eyebrows for vacation which is freaking fabulous so and then that just like makes them look not so dry and cakey you know all right, last but not least, the best part, duh. Highlight. So this is that Tarte Glow something, Tarteus Pro Glow palette. It has a cream contour and a bronzer and four highlights. Like, come on, you guys. And I'm pretty sure this was like $50. This is is bang for your buck. Um, I'm gonna use the lightest one, Strobe, to get that super like wet highlight, you know? You know that look? You know what I'm talking about. I just recently learned this. I don't know how the heck I didn't figure this out before. But you wet your brush and then you do the highlight and then it's like, damn. That was very melodramatic. There we go. Like you literally go from like plain to like yes in 0.5 seconds. My motto is there's no such thing as too much highlight, so maybe don't follow my motto because I'm pretty sure lots of people think there is, but I don't. I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it the tip of my nose and down the bridge. So it's like a cool exclamation point. Still gotta exfoliate these lips and put lip color on. I'm just gonna do like a nude, a nude lip color. Um, probably one of those like NYX ones in neutral, nude, natural, whatever it's called. And then do like a nude lipstick and then I'm gonna put that NYX Dewy Glow to seal all this shit in. And I'm gonna go and straighten this ratty weeb. How gross. And secret for you guys, my hairdresser taught me this. Um, because I already washed my hair once this week and that's aggressive to do more than once. I took this out and just washed this. So it's fresh for my shoes. So that is how lazy and gross I am. Secrets out, yo. I'm gonna be back in five. Okay, so I'm all ready. I just straighten my hair didn't do anything with it um this light's a little better so you can see the makeup that is the finished look this is my outfit very simple a very gym i'm gonna have a quick bite to eat because i'm starving and then our zoo is gonna come get me and then we're gonna go to the gym take some photos lift some things have some fun all right, so we made it to the gym. We already finished shooting one look. This is this is our second look. I want to give you guys like a quick little tour. Ooh. 
looks a bomb in here. done that shoot that went way longer than we expected but it was super fun and we got lots of great shots so I'm gonna show you guys when they're ready but now Marcus and I are gonna have some food and hang out with this cutie and that one I don't know if you guys can see Lola she's real far away so yeah it's it's time to eat guys it's definitely time to eat it's been a long ass day What's up guys, good morning. It is the next day. I totally fell asleep on the couch yesterday. It's just been a really long ass week and I was real tired. Um, it is Saturday, it's a great day. We just had group training for the girls. It was amazing. Um, and today is the day we're doing our Mother's Day contest. Um, pamper type of day for the wonderful lady that won the contest that we had posted on Instagram a while back. Um, basically, we asked family, friends to nominate somebody that was very deserving that could use a day of pamper. And we have a wonderful lady coming in today to get a little bit of a makeover. She's getting her hair done right now and then she's coming here um, and she's gonna get her makeup professionally done and we have some clothing sponsors and some amazing gifts for her and then she's gonna go through a photo shoot, which is gonna be super freaking amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some work done and then we're gonna get that part of the day started. I'm gonna cut this video off here. You guys can catch this part on my Instagram, I believe I'm going to post it, but we might do like a YouTube video as well to, to kind of do like a little interview with her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to come and check out that gym that we worked out at slash shot at. It is going to be bomb, you guys. I'm super excited for you, all you trainers out there in YYC. You get to run your own business this way, which is like super sweet. So yeah, if you have any questions, you can message me. This is not my gym, but I'm happy to answer them um, for you. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get some work done on this rainy ass day and I will hit you guys up in the next video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up, subscribe below so you don't miss any more videos. So you make sure to stay posted on everything we're doing this summer and I'll check you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.